Dang, you guys went crazy last weekend for the solo B-roll challenge. I did not expect this many submissions at all. It took me forever to watch them through, but it was really fun. It was really nice seeing all of the different kinds of videos that you guys made. And there were so many good ones that I really, really enjoyed, which made this process so hard to choose. Only five to showcase. You guys should have seen how many tabs I had open and I was just trying to narrow them down slowly to my five favorite, which again, it was really, really hard to choose. But I think the things that really stood out for me when I was watching them were A, the way that you, you told some sort of story, B, the creativity behind the video, how creative was it, how much did it stand out from all the other ones, and then C, just the overall way it was put together, kind of the feeling it left me with. It's really interesting watching a minute video and seeing what kind of emotion, what kind of feeling uh, you get from watching that video, even though it's so short. A lot of these made me laugh, they got me pumped, there was some sort of feeling to that. Uh, so just just the overall pacing and everything, how it was put together. All right, so let's get into it. This one is the first of the top five. Uh, I'll, I'll announce the, the winner at the end. And this one is by Felipe Cardosa. And this one was really nice. First off, it had this um, sound design that right away kind of caught my attention because it didn't just feel like some B-roll slapped together. Right away, there was a little bit more purpose to it. And then it had this mysteriousness to it in the beginning. I was kind of wondering what's gonna happen? Where is this video going? And then it had this fun little transition, which again, just caught my attention and it made me want to watch the whole video. And overall, it was really well put together, but it did leave me wanting just a little bit more, a little bit more of a payoff, I guess, some sort of kind of way to tie in the whole story. There's this mystery in the beginning and then by the end of it, it was just kind of like obvious what it was. Uh, so that was my only critique of it, but really great job, Felipe, really enjoyed this one. The second one that I chose was by Jake Fru. Uh, sorry if I butchered your name. Okay, Matty Hapoya just posted a solo B-roll challenge, so I gotta make the fastest cup of coffee in the world and get to it. Game begin. It's funny because I said the fastest cup of coffee in the world, but that sequence probably took an hour to film. <laughs> oh, and in other news, I'm down to one crutch now. That's it for my B-roll challenge. Thanks so much for watching and Maddie, thanks for everything you teach us and inspire us to do. See you next time. And this was probably actually in my top two for a few different reasons. First off, I like that you just set up the video right away. I know exactly what this video is about. And I was a little bit turned off by the fact that you're like, oh, I'm gonna make coffee because everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna, but first coffee. Thanks to Peter, every, everybody does coffee in their videos nowadays. So I was a little bit put off by that, but then when you started doing it, you had a really cool, unique way of making the coffee, which I really appreciated. And then it kind of turned into more of like a vlog video. But what I really liked about this like kind of second half of the video is that you filmed on the boosted board. That was, that was a really creative way to get some 
really nice b-roll of yourself it almost looked like a dolly was following you everywhere at first i was like now this guy cheated he had somebody on a gimbal or a dolly or something but then you showed me your little rig which was great thanks for showing that um yeah i just really appreciated the the creativity behind it so i like this one there was a nice cohesive story i knew what it was about uh you were super creative and just the overall way it was put together yeah definitely definitely in my top two i think for for the ones that i saw next up we have josiah Vaughn. challenge. I don't know man, it's your video. And when I started watching this one, at first I was kind of like, meh, it kind of looks like all the other ones. There's a ton of this similar style, just like random B-roll. But then you surprised me with this little, uh, all of a sudden there was two of you and you had this little funny little skit thing going on and that was really memorable for me. I liked that you were creative. The angles worked really nicely. I could see that you put in a lot of thought and effort into that. It wasn't just a bunch of B-roll with, without any storyline, even though it kind of seemed like that at first, but you had this nice little thing that kind of tied it together and added a little bit more depth or, or a point to the video, I guess. And it just made it memorable. So it really great job, Josiah. Really appreciated that one. Go and check him out if you guys are curious. And then we have Jen Bot. I just like this one because it felt very different to all the other B-roll sections that you guys made. A lot of them had the similar song style, similar look, but this one just felt a little bit different. It felt a little bit more, I guess, cinematic. It felt like it was a, a sequence from a movie, a quick little B-roll sequence. So I, I really enjoyed this. And then there was this one shot where she walks into focus. And I that was actually really, really nice looking. I knew that it was a bit of a harder shot to pull off. And then you had the changing angles. Yeah, I just really like the feeling of this. It's hard to explain why I like this one, but it just caught my eye and, and it was one that stood out for me. Great job on this, Jen. It could have maybe used a little bit stronger of a storyline, but overall really liked it. And then for the winner, uh, you, you just gotta watch, just watch. So this one was by Dream Duo Films and this one was really, really cool. It was by far my favorite out of the hundreds, I don't know how many I watched, 
This one was by far my favorite. It kind of just hit all of the different points. It had a nice little storyline. It was super creative and overall it was really well put together. It had this nice little kind of hook in the beginning. I was kind of intrigued by what was going on and then 80s music, you had me right away. And then those nice little graphics kick in and the pacing of the edit. I think that's one of my favorite things about this edit is the pacing. Pacing is one of those hard things to learn and it's hard to explain. You kind of get it or you don't and you really understood the pacing for this film which made it a really, really enjoyable video to watch. Even though it was a minute long, um, yeah, I was really, really impressed by this. You told a story in a really creative way and it was just really well put together. You know it's a good video when you think like, oh, this could definitely be like a headphone commercial or some sort of other commercial. This could have been a commercial. That's how good this was in my opinion. So Dream Duo Films, you guys are the winners. I still don't know if I have something to send you guys or not, but. Guys, go follow Dream Duo Films. I'll link them down below. Definitely worth checking him out and, and check out all of the, the five that I chose and all the other ones too. Just look up hashtag solo B-roll and there's a lot of really fun videos that you can watch. Huge thanks for being a part of this solo B-roll challenge. And I think the best part for me was kind of getting a glimpse into your guys' lives. I think that's what made this so cool, watching these videos, seeing uh, a little bit of your life and in, in your perspective, in your way, your unique style. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to do more of these in the future. Maybe not solo B-roll, maybe something else, but I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it also. I hope you guys had fun making them. And I think that's probably the best thing about this is it got a lot of you out and just making something, putting those things that you've learned through tutorials and all of that stuff into use, making something, Learn, make, repeat. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best thing about the solo B-roll challenge. Congrats to the top five, especially Dream Duo Films. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.